Today we're going to take care of some rust on a 2003 Ford F-150 with only 64,000 miles on it, so it's sort of worth saving. The inner panel is gone, the outer panel is gone, but we're going to do the best we can with it. The first thing we'll do is cut out all the rust. And that little piece of rubber there that they put in the at the factory blocked all the water and salt from running down. That's why it's good up here and it got blocked right there. good right there. That metal's good. We'll just cut and feel for good metal. Just keep going around there. Like right there is bad. Bad. So we'll go up a little bit further. We'll cut this with a die grinder, maybe way back here. The main goal when repairing this inner panel is support for the outer panel. So we're going to design something that comes down to about right here. Sometimes a piece of cardboard can help you design the patch. And in this case, we're going to do something just like that. And then we'll just cut little slots right here, 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 and fold that over. So we'll give about an inch extra that should do it. We will be welding right near the fuel filler tube, so we'll hang something in front of that just for some extra safety. After 
trimming up the patch a bit, this is what we came up with. We do have a couple holes here to fit around those bolts. Go just like that. And we'll weld it in there just like that. And again, we'll cut slots and bend those parts over. Again, our safety measures will be some tape over the gas tank door. We have a wet towel covering any tubes going to the gas tank, and we'll use this shield while we're welding. use the old trim piece to get an idea of what we have to do with the rest of this patch. So we're going to fold this under like that then just draw our line, fold it under and weld those slots up. And I'm not going to weld this up until I make sure that this fits. And we can unbend this if we need to. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is something to hold the outer panel firm. And we'll see how this fits. Using a piece of cardboard, we can get pretty close to what the patch needs to look like. From the other side, we know that it's 26 inches from this edge to that edge. And then we just sketch, just come down here and sketch right to that 26. And then we have to have an inch to fold under. And we'll just put slots like that. 
to fold those pieces under and weld those slots. At this point, the patch looks like it's going to fit. This will all be straight, will all be flat, and the trim will fit on that. But we need to make a few relief cuts so that it folds back. So these relief cuts will allow it to fold under, and these relief cuts will allow it to fold down and follow this contour. We'll be welding the patch with an Art Captain MiG 200, and these are the settings we'll be using. After it's tacked into place, you can come back, take your time, and weld it up solid. You can put the welds right on top of each other or separate them. But you'll want to make sure that you alternate weld here, then here, then back to here, then over here, here, and fill in those spaces. You don't want to get it too hot in one area.
before we finish welding it up to the inner panel and these slots. We'll check the trim, make sure that's going to fit. After welding, we can grind this clean, tap down the seams, and fill it. We'll finish this patch up next week. For now, I hope you enjoyed this video on repairing a large rust hole with a homemade patch. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.